India is developing a secret naval base on the eastern coast near Visakhapatnam. Named Project Varsha, this secret base will provide the Indian Navy the much needed discrete entry and exit paths for their nuclear submarines without being detected by spy satellites. The base will have underground pens to hide the submarine's movement. It is going to be a state of the art strategic base for the Indian Navy on the east coast to tackle the threats and challenges in the neighborhood. In this video, we'll discuss the secret project Varsa, India's nuclear submarine program and its necessity with respect to India's nuclear doctrine and national security. Before moving forward, I would like to clarify that all the information being shared here are in the public domain and no classified information is being revealed in the video. Hello guys, I am Saurav and welcome to the ARC. India's Eastern Naval Command located at Vishakhapatnam has the Bay of Bengal and part of the Indian Ocean as its area of responsibility. Its main base is at Vishakhapatnam and the Vishakhapatnam port is used by both the Navy and for civilian shipping. But as the fleet size of the Eastern Command grew over the years, which currently operates more than 50 ships, the need for another base for the Navy became essential. Hence, the search for a new base started sometime in the late 2000s. This search of a new base also coincided with India's nuclear submarine program. Indian Navy considers the Indian Ocean region as its area of responsibility. Right from the Strait of Hormuz in the west, to the Malacca Strait in the east. This is the region where over 80% of world's seaborne oil trade happens and around 100,000 commercial vessels traverse through the Indian Ocean every year. So to protect India's maritime interests and project its influence in the Indian Ocean region and also considering China's growing presence in the Indian Ocean, Indian Navy needs necessary infrastructure and assets. Keeping this in mind, India launched the ATV project sometime in 1984. DRDO was tasked with project management and the Indian Navy in the supervision role. The objective was to design and build a nuclear submarine. The program received the much needed boost after India's successful nuclear test in Pokhran II in May 1998. The goal was then to build ballistic missile submarines or SSBN capable of launching ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads. This was completely new territory for India. Hence, Russian assistance was sought for the program. Then started what's called India's costliest and most secretive defense project. Nuclear Triad is the capability to launch and deliver nuclear missiles through land, air or sea in case of a conflict. Intercontinental ballistic missiles or the ICBM form the land part, strategic bombers the air part, and the third but most important part that is C constitutes of the SSBNs. India is among a select group of nations that operate nuclear submarines. Except India, the list includes the US, France, the UK, Russia, and China. But what's so special about nuclear submarines? A nuclear propulsion system allows a submarine to travel almost indefinitely underwater. They don't have to surface to recharge their batteries like conventional diesel electric submarines or the SSK. So once a nuclear submarine is out of its base and sails into the sea, it can virtually disappear for months, remaining underwater, communicating only through the extremely low frequency antenna with the ground station. Its endurance is limited only by the endurance of its crew. While all other offensive platforms like strategic bombers or land-based missile launchers, they leave electronic signatures, hence can be tracked. But the nuclear submarines are virtually undetectable and at the same time carrying SLBMs to mount an attack if required. That's what makes them so lethal. Nuclear submarines also become crucial considering India's no first use policy with respect to nuclear weapons. But when attacked with nuclear weapons, it automatically enables India for second strike in retaliation. 
That's where the SSBNs come into picture. It provides India the nuclear deterrence and forms a very important part of India's nuclear doctrine. Keeping this in mind, INS Arihant was built at the shipbuilding center Vishakhapatnam and it was launched in 2009. It is based on the Russian Akula class submarines. It has a nuclear reactor developed by Bhava Atomic Research Center. It was built as a technology demonstrator to validate the technologies like miniaturizing the nuclear reactor, firing of SLBMs etc. The follow-ons will be bigger in size and also better in terms of technology. INS Aryan has been operationalized since 2016. And in 2018, it completed its first deterrence patrol of 20 days. Now in terms of specification, it has a displacement of approximately 6000 tons and it can carry 12 K15 or 4 K4 SLBMs. The second boat of the same class, INS Arighat, was launched quietly in 2017. It was supposed to be commissioned in 2021-22 or might have already been commissioned given the secrecy of the project. The third of the class but bigger than the earlier two called INS Aridhman codenamed S4 has 7000 tons displacement. It will be able to carry 24 K-15 or 8 K-4 or K-5 missiles. It has been launched in November last year and work has been started on the next boat of the same class codenamed S4 Star. India also plans to build a larger SSBM, twice the size of INS Aryanth, codenamed S5. It will have a larger reactor and it will be able to carry larger missiles with more ranges like the K4, K5 and K6. Aryanth since its induction has been quite active in the seas. A trial of the SLBM, possibly the K15 variant, was conducted from INS Aryanth on 14th October this year. On the SSN side, that is, nuclear submarines without nuclear-tipped missiles that are used for attack roles, Government of India approved Project Alpha in 2015. Under this project, India aims to develop six nuclear-powered attack submarines whose cost may exceed Rs 1 lakh crore. The status of the program at this point is unknown. The nuclear submarine program is one of the most secret defense projects of India. Its importance can be assessed from the fact that it is supervised directly by the National Security Advisor and the PMO. Given the lethality and strategic nature of the SSBNs, adversary always tries to keep a close watch on these precious assets. Therefore, their location and movement have to be kept secret. In case of a war, it becomes more important than ever because the spy satellites of the adversary keep a constant watch on the number of submarines leaving the base, types of submarines being deployed, etc and plan their course of action accordingly. And that is why Indian Navy needs an underground base. I have mentioned earlier that the search for a new base started with the ATV project and space becoming an issue at the Bishakapatnam port. Also, after INS Bikrant, India's brand new aircraft carrier, which was inducted into the Indian Navy in September this year, it is supposed to move to the Eastern Command after completion of its sea trials. The Indian Navy will operate the two aircraft carriers, one looking east and one looking west. INS Vikramaditya from the western seaboard and INS Vikrant from the eastern. Navy needed a new base for INS Vikrant on the eastern side, as the base at Vishakhapatnam didn't have adequate infrastructure. But the work on INS Varsa is yet to be completed. Hence, as a temporary measure, Navy has leased the berthing facilities at LNT shipyard in Katupalli, Tamil Nadu. INS Vikrant for the time being will berth at Katupalli and operate under the Eastern Naval Command. Before moving forward to INS Varsa, let's take a look at the similar facility built by China at its Yulin Naval Base. In August 2020, a few pictures were released which were taken by Planet Labs. It appeared to show a Chinese submarine using an underground base on Hainan Island on the South China Sea. As can be seen here in the image, a submarine possibly a Type 093 nuclear attack submarine near its underground base in the massive Yulin Naval Base that houses PLS submarines and aircraft carriers. 
so these underground bases are nothing new. Even the Soviets operated one such base in Balaklava in a small oceanside town in the Crimean Peninsula. The base now has been converted into a museum. Now coming to Ines Versa. This base is located around 60 km south to Vishakhapatnam, near Rambili village, where the two rivers, Varaha and Sarada, open up into the Bay of Bengal. The base will have berthing space for the ships. It will have repair and maintenance facilities, along with amenities for the crew to rest. But the most critical and distinctive feature of the base will be its underground pens for submarines. Submarines will be able to enter and exit the underground facility through tunnels without getting detected. According to reports, the underground facility will have space for 8 to 12 submarines. And it would be large enough to accommodate even the larger 13,000 ton S-5 submarines. Geography plays a vital role in selection of the place as a naval base. The natural water channel and the mountain makes it perfectly suitable. The underground base will be right under the mountain, which will also store the nuclear warheads and the SLBMs. INS Versa is designed and constructed to withstand nuclear attacks, so that in case of a war, the strategic assets are protected at any cost. Just 20 km away from Rambili, Bark is constructing a research and development complex at Achutapatnam. It will support the submarine base with respect to repair and maintenance of the nuclear reactors. The project, however, has unsettled our adversaries. In 2015, NIA arrested two Pakistani spies who were hired to get details of Project Versa. They were tasked to collect information on the stage and depth of the channel in the naval base. The importance of the project can be assessed from this. Open source satellite images suggest considerable development on the ground with more than a dozen tunnels and waterways being completed. Government also gave approval for the second phase of the project in 2018, details of which are still unknown. INS Versa is one of the most, if not the most strategic defense project of India. This project along with the SSBN program and Project Alpha SSN program will be the cornerstone of India's nuclear doctrine in the coming times. It will contribute to credible nuclear deterrence and embolden and reshape India's national security paradigm. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe the ARC. I hope to see you soon with my next video. Thank you.